This is the comprehensive guide to connecting your TP-Link RE500X to your home Wi-Fi network. I'll show you three methods using the WPS button, using your web browser and using the smartphone. But quick heads up before you start, make sure that your extender is plugged into a power socket next to your router and its power indicator glows solid blue and your router must broadcast Wi-Fi and be connected to the internet. And now let's get started. Well, the easiest way to start using an extended network is to connect by WPS. If your router has the WPS button, usually it's located on the back panel and labeled. So you will easily find it, find the button and press it. Then within two minutes, Locate the WPS button on your extender. This is the square button uh, with the padlock icon. Press this button as well. Now all you have to do is to wait. Now you will see uh, all these lights on the extender gradually turning on. And once that happens, it means the process is complete and the extender is fully connected to uh, both 2.4 GHz and 5 GHz bands. Uh, and also you can monitor the Wi-Fi networks uh, on your smartphone or another Wi-Fi device. Um, by the way, by the way, uh, if your router supports only one band, uh, you will see only three LEDs in a row. So let's wait for new networks over here. So my main network is named uh, my Wi-Fi and new network is named my Wi-Fi but with EXT added to the end. EXT stands for extender. So I have four LEDs in a row and I have two new networks and let me connect to one of them. I prefer 5 gigahertz. It's faster. Uh, connect it and that's it. Let's go ahead. The next connection method is via smartphone, which is my favorite because it gives an access to 95% of all possible settings and it's super simple. So to connect the extender via smartphone, you have to install Tether application by TP-Link. This one is available in App Store and Play Store. Then open this application and let me skip the registration process. Just uh, keep in mind that first you have to create the TP-Link ID and log in. Uh, to this application. It's super simple, same as registration somewhere in Facebook or Amazon. Uh, and now we are on the home screen of the application. It's, it's named My Devices and now I see my main router here uh, because I connected to my main network, but I need to uh, connect to the extender first. So let me go to Wi-Fi settings. Here I need TP-Link extender, tap on that. Connecting. Once connected, let's go back to the application. Now we instantly see RE500X here, but if you don't see your extender here, you can tap on the plus icon in the top right corner, tap on add a range extender, uh, confirm LED is solid on, and wait for this scanning process to be finished. Now you have to create the device password. This is not Wi-Fi password, this is password to manage the extender settings from different smartphones and different web browsers. So let the password be simple enough to remember. Now let's select which network we wish to extend. My main network's name is my Wi-Fi, so I wish to extend. Here you can copy password to connect to your new network. And now let's go to the Wi-Fi settings. Here they are, 2.4 gigahertz extended and 5 gigahertz extended. Let's connect to 5 gigahertz. Connected without password so far, but for the next gadget, I think you will need the password. Now let's go back to the application. It's logging in. No internet. Hmm. It's a lie. You can simply fix it by tapping on here. 
everything is working well. And now you can manage different settings of the extender from this application. Uh, go to, for example, go to more tab. You can manage block list, use location assistant to relocate your router, uh, manage the Wi-Fi coverage to switch between maximum coverage and power saving. Uh, you can uh, put the extender into high speed mode, whatever it means, just test it. And the main thing, you can change the operation mode. You can use the extender as an access point, connecting uh, the extender to your router directly using the Ethernet cable and using just not just an extender, but just a uh, separate access point. And uh, of course, you can put this router into your one mesh network. This is seamless network where all devices uh, connect to Wi-Fi for the fastest possible speed without passwords. Seamlessly, absolutely. Uh, that's it, let's move ahead. And the most advanced method is connection via web browser, which gives you the full control over your extender. First of all, you need to connect uh, your uh, laptop or PC or Mac uh, to the extender's network. So go to your Wi-Fi settings, find the TP-Link extender network, connect to this network, and then go to any web browser. And in the address bar, type the following, IP address 192.168.0.254. Uh, then press enter. And wait for a while. As you see, it takes you to the welcome page and here you can create, uh, or rather you must create the device password, same as with the smartphone method. Be patient on this step because sometimes extenders think too long. You need to be patient and don't make and exceed moves. Once again. Once you created the password, it takes you to the quick setup mode. And as in the case with the smart smartphone setup, you need to select the network you wish to extend and enter your current Wi-Fi password, then click on next. And just wait for the connection. If something is interrupted on this step, just check your connection. You have to be connected to TP-Link extender. If it was automatically reconnected to your main network, you have to repeat all previous steps. Um, now let's extend 2.4 gigahertz network, enter current password, click on next, check if everything is correct, and confirm. Here you can rename your extenders network, but I don't need to rename it for now. So I just click on next. Once again, something is going on on the LED uh, panel of the extender. So regardless of the connection method, you have to see at least three LEDs 
uh, glowing solid blue in a row. So this is for power, this is for Wi-Fi, and this is for 2.4G and for 5G networks band. And now you can relocate, remember about the rotor's range, remember uh, about the Wi-Fi signal indicator. If it's blue, the position is okay. If it's red, you need to uh, relocate the rotor, uh, the extender uh, closer to the rotor. Uh, when you're okay with position, click done, and then you can connect to your new network, go to your Wi-Fi settings, find your extended networks here. EXT stands for extended. Let's click on that, click on connect. Then go back to the browser window, check the checkbox I have connected, click on finish and it takes you to uh, the login page. Use your created password to login. And now you are in the settings menu. Uh, you can use the TP-Link cloud service to manage your home network remotely, but let me do it later. Uh, and from here you can control your extender to manage settings same as on smartphone, but from here you can do some advanced thing, for example, uh, backup and recovery. You can create the backup file, so if you have a successful configuration, I, I recommend you to back it up. Create backup file, so later if you need to reset your uh, device, you can go to settings, back to settings and go to restore section, upload your configuration file here and click on restore and you will have all your uh, settings restored after reset. Uh, that's it guys. I hope this video was helpful. Thanks for watching, subscribe to the channel, hit the like button and be awesome. Bye guys.